So it's a great time to go ahead and prepare for the 2024 elections. Every year, millions of Americans find themselves unable to vote because they either missed a deadline or didn't register. Today is National Voter Registration Day, and St. John's County Supervisor of Elections Vicki Oaks is encouraging you to take steps now to ensure you can vote in 2024. Register if you need to update your information. You can always visit your local public library and register to vote or update your information at your public library. It is one of our registration agencies. You can also register to vote online by visiting votesjc.gov. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Supervisor of Elections Vicki Oaks will also be speaking at this morning's St. John's County Commission meeting. Public Affairs Director Wayne Larson has a preview. There'll be a public hearing to look at the inventory list of available land for affordable housing in St. Johns County. The board will look at that list as part of the Live Local Act and discuss what strategies are in front of them to identify properties to use towards uh, affordable housing in our community. Another item of interest is uh, we're, we're taking a look at an update on the beach berm enhancement restoration efforts going on along the coast, Crescent Beach and South Ponte Vedras. And then another area of interest, uh, particularly to those that enjoy concerts and entertainment in St. John's County, the board will look at approving the public-private partnership with the new St. John's County Cultural Events, Inc., for the operations and management of St. John's County Cultural Events. And, of course, this includes the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall and the AMP. And then, finally, the second and final reading of proposed amendments to two ordinances that deal with registered sex offenders and sexual predators in our community. Uh, One will deal with prohibited holiday activity in terms of individuals who are registered, their participation in things like Halloween and Christmas events, dressing up in costumes or engaging in activities with the community events that deal with holidays. And then the other ordinance deals with creating a 1,000-foot safety zone around parks and things of that nature. The Board of County Commission meeting is open to the public and begins at 9 this morning, located at 500 San Sebastian View, St. Augustine. You can also watch the meeting online. The Sing Out Loud concerts this week will flood St. Augustine with fans from all over the county. Liz Ryan tells us what we need to know to prepare. Francis Field will come alive Friday and Saturday with performances from lots of different artists. Whether or not you're planning to attend, this will affect you if you live in the city of St. Augustine. If you are planning on putting out residential yard debris tomorrow, there will be no collection. You'll have to wait till next Wednesday, the 27th, to put it out. Thursday's recycling pickup will be a day early. They'll pick it up tomorrow instead. If you usually put out your recycling on Friday, Thursday will be this week's collection day. As far as garbage collection, nothing will change. Another thing to keep in mind, the historic downtown parking facility will be closed to the public Friday and Saturday. This is because the Sing Out Loud Festival necessitates the use of the garage as part of the event's emergency response plan to ensure public safety. Expect a lot of traffic in downtown St. Augustine this Friday and Saturday. The Black Keys and Mumford & Sons will surely draw big crowds. For details, go to singoutloudfestival.com. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.